Hey guys, this is a tutorial for you that is an extension of the class that I just released, which is how to digitally edit your artwork that you can find on Skillshare. What I want to do now is I just want to show you how you can take a Photoshop file and actually um, save it to your drive and import it into Procreate. So if you don't have a Wacom tablet and you want to do some um, editing through Procreate, such as erasing parts of the background, um, it's a really Procreate is a really great tool to do that. So I'm going to show you just the quickest way to get it into Procreate and how you can use Procreate to do some of the edits. So we have our flower thank you artwork and it's a Photoshop file. And you can see down here on the right in my layers panel that I have the different layers. So this is going to be important. You want to keep the layers so that you can use them in Procreate. So I'm going to save this to my desktop, um, which I already have it on my desktop, but I will go through and make sure that it says Photoshop, save as, and that the layers are checked. Um, and then I'm going to hit save. And sure, I will replace it. All right, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to then go to your Google Drive. So I have my drive up right here. I have attached the uh, Photoshop document. If you don't know how to do this, you can go to New. You can click on New and hit File Upload, or you can just drag it over to the side, and you can grab it, and you can just drag and drop it in. Um, so those are the different ways you can put stuff. As you can see, it's starting to upload. Um, I'm going to cancel it since I already have it in my drive. Uh, so those are two very simple ways for you to be able to use your drive to get it into the drive. Now we're going to jump over and I'm going to go onto my iPad and show you how I can bring it in and then save it back and bring it back out. So I have my iPad now and what I can do is when I open it, I can go to my Procreate app and then I can go up here to the button that says import. And when I hit import, it's going to give me all these different locations on the side. Um, it can be on my iPad, I'm going to go down to the Drive button and hit Drive. And as you can see, these are my Drive files that I can go into, or I can pick up my Flower Thank You that I have recently uploaded. So I can hit that, and it's going to say Importing, and it will import it, and all of a sudden, it's going to be its own document. What's great about this is then I can go to the Layers, and you can see that all of the layers that were in Photoshop are now here in Procreate. So I can turn off each separate layer. I can also use the different um, brushes and stuff to change things, or if I want to go back and do some more of the editing like I showed you in my video, I can do this and I can hit the eraser tool. I can play with my eraser settings and I can go through and I can erase around my, um, around my art like this. So I can go and clean my artwork using my Apple Pencil instead of using a Wacom tablet or the trackpad or your mouse. And then once you're done, what you can do is you can go up here to the gear and it's going to have the different add, canvas, share. Underneath the share, you're going to go share image and you're going to choose PSD file. And when you hit the PSD file, it's going to export it and it will tell you where you want it to go. And I'm going to say back to the drive. So I'll hit drive and then usually if I did um, editing to it, I'll come here and I will change the name. Flower, thank you edit. And then I'll make sure it's on the correct drive that I want it to be on, um, hooked up with my email account, and then I'm going to upload and it says export successful. Now if you're in the gallery and you can't get it to upload, the other option for you is to go straight to your drive. And you can import it through this way. So now you can see that I have my extra edit there. But if I go here to the original, I can um, hit the three dots here and put open in and hit add to procreate or just from this uh, home screen I can hit the three dots and hit open in and then hit add to procreate and then it's going to send it to procreate so you can either go through procreate to the drive or from drive to procreate so then if I get out of here and go into procreate you'll see that it's going to import it and there it is again. So those are the different ways that you can use the drive and um, procreate to work with each other um, so that now when we go back to the computer, the new edit will be there. Um, so when I'm back on my desktop, I can go to my drive. So I'm going to go to Chrome. And now that I'm in my drive, you can see that I have my flower thank you um, here. And then I have the flower thank you edit right next to it. So I can click on this and I can right click. And then I can hit download and it's going to scan it 
and it's going to drop it into my download folder. And so I can just drag this back into Photoshop. Um, and now it says flower, thank you, edit. And you can see that this would be whatever I had done to my object in Procreate. I would have all the new edits right in this document while still keeping the Photoshop file extension and also all the different layers that I have. So that's it. I hope this has helped you learn how to use Photoshop, Procreate, and Google Drive together. I hope this is what helps you when you're editing your art to make the process as seamless as possible. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, if you want to know more about my classes and my class on digitally editing your artwork, please check out the link in my bio. And happy editing!